Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Don. I, I, uh, I, uh, 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 let me ask you something. Uh, apart from being one of the best actors uh, alive, uh, and you are uh, now a terrific uh, director, you really should see this movie about Miles Davis if you haven't seen it. Um, and if, 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 uh, if, if you remember correctly, I did predict that you would be a great director, yes? Okay, then I want to ask you something. How come you never asked me to play a part? <laughs> yeah. And I think I can speak for Kirk. Maybe me and Kirk, you know, and some sort of modern, you know, thing. Me and Kirk. Um, are you following me? Yeah, good. Uh, thank you. Um, what'd you say? Well, we can do that. We can do that. We'll, I will, we'll get some uh, 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 cooperation. Um, okay, so thank you, uh, Roger. Where are you? Uh, oh, wow. You got your own table over there. Yeah. Okay, um, and I, I, I want to thank you and the Santa Barbara International Film Festival f uh, for the Kirk Douglas Award. Now, if you fear that I'm going to, like, uh, make a speech, you know, um, here's the words I use now because what we're going through in the last, you know, few weeks about uh, politics and movies and stuff. My, my three words speech is don't start me. So, uh, so you could, don't worry. They won't be, I'm not going to, I've got some notes here because I, I get thrown uh, curves by myself. Uh, uh, now, uh, Kirk. I am told that you're watching. So I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that I am so happy to have this opportunity to tell you, where am I looking at a camera with Kirk? Uh, okay, Kirk. <laughs> I mean this. Um, uh, I want to tell you what an inspiring influence you were to me when I came to Hollywood in 1958. Um, when I was just uh, starting into the movie business and uh, I, I could see clearly about you the possibilities, the reality of producing and acting in a movie at the same time. And um, maybe you didn't realize what an effect you had on me, but, I'm, but that's the truth and I, I always uh, have, uh, I haven't seen you for a while, but I, I, I would like to uh, see you soon and, uh, and go over some of the times we had at Charlie Feldman's house at those dinners and, uh, and, uh, and uh, kind of uh, kibitz about the laughs that we all had at, uh, at, uh, with you, you and Anne at your house in Palm Springs. And I could uh, go on and on and on, Kirk. So uh, it means uh, a lot to me to be here and, and to <sighs> congratulate you on your upcoming 100th uh, birthday. Uh, and um, and um, because I have to say, now that, that I'm, uh, uh, you know, I'm getting up there, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm coming into my mid-50s. Uh, and. Uh, uh, I'm just wondering if we can spend some time together uh, once in a while and you could just give me some tips on how you do it. Uh, but um, I, I, um, I will call you when I get back to town. The town, I mean, is Beverly Hills, sorry. Um, uh, Lily, um, although you're a little younger than Kirk and I, um, I want you to know that you have been a constant source of inspiration uh, to work with and how uh, grateful I am to you for that. I think you already know that, uh, Annette can tell you. I mean, I never stop talking about you and uh, your integrity, your wit, your honest humility, and um, you are not ugly. Uh, I, I, uh, you have been a real uh, inspiration for me to work with, and I, I hope that uh, we can uh, do it again. Maybe in the, something that uh, Cheadle uh, can do with Kirk and me and you, you know. I think it's a, 
think about it. Are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. But I tell you something, when you look back at uh, movies that you made a long uh, time ago, it, it, it does give a person um, uh, a, a unique uh, view of himself to contemplate. And um, all I can say is it's, uh, it's, uh, it's probably a good thing that I, I didn't have an iPhone as a kid because I, then I might uh, just never, never stop contemplating. But uh, to see the old uh, movies, um, probably not a lot of you have had that opportunity to have been glamorized in 1960 <laughs> and, and to see yourself as... Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, but seriously, um, looking at those clips, and I have spent time in other circumstances looking at clips about me. Uh, it it does uh, uh, remind me how uh, fortunate that I have been to be uh, part of this uh, movie business for so many years, and to have known the people. Uh, that I've had the honor to work with and to uh, to uh, learn from. Um, but you know, uh, uh, 25 years ago, I um, I brilliantly uh, convinced the world's best actress to uh, marry me, and um, and so. Uh, am I standing up straight enough? Uh, <laughs> because I'm coming, am I, am I too close to the mic, Annette? Just to, no, okay, good, thanks. Uh, and uh, I became a, uh, a devoted uh, husband and, and, uh, and father uh, 25 years ago, and I have to say that it has given me the most enthralling years of my life uh, with our four fantastic kids who I always like to joke are like uh, four small uh, Eastern European countries that we negotiate with. We send ambassadors sometimes. And, uh, and, uh, and even once in a while, who knows, we might even get a text returned, you know? Uh, but um, even, even before uh, Annette and the kids, uh, my life uh, has been and, and uh, I would say remains pretty much about movies as an art form and um, politics as a life form and enjoying uh, the word that I would use is the access, access uh, that fame has given to me to, uh, to get to know the uh, people that I wanted to know and the places uh, that I uh, wanted to go. And um, I would say that uh, one of them is Santa Barbara. Now, who wouldn't want to go to Santa Barbara? So, uh, so thank you for inviting me and honoring me in this way. It's great to be here. Thanks.